The creator can be used to spawn and place some objects in the scene with RCCP. Let players can build their own scenes with given objects, save, load, and clean the scene data easily. Players can have unique scenes with their own scene setup to be used with RCCP. Let's import the creator for RCCP to the project first. It will install the input system. Please install dependencies as well. Installation of the input system will restart the editor, importing the asset again. Once import is done, it will search for realistic car controller pro in the project. The creator won't work without it. Importing the latest version of realistic car controller pro Perfect, now we can test the creator's demo scene, open up the demo scene and test the system. We need to import Text Mesh Pro's essentials to the project. The creator has six demo objects currently. We can add our own objects easily. We can spawn and place, change their positions and rotations, edit or remove them. Controls can be changed from the input actions easily. Saving, loading, cleaning, and restoring the scene is very simple. It will load the scene at start if the option is enabled. You can disable the auto load. You can't spawn objects too close to the player vehicle. Let's import the demo content of Realistic Car Controller Pro and use the creator in the existing scene.
This is the regular demo scene of Realistic Car Controller Pro. Let's add the creator to this scene. Right click to the hierarchy or from Tools, Bonecracker Games, Creator and Create Complete System. Now we have three new game objects in the scene, a scene manager, a camera and a UI canvas. Now we can see the button for enabling and disabling the creator mode. Enabling the creator mode will disable Realistic Car Controller Pro's UI canvas, camera and vehicle and enabling creator's UI and camera. All creation objects have been selected in the creation objects scriptable object. You can add your own objects here. All objects have CR object script. Script will disable all colliders attached to the object while player is placing it. And UI buttons for object selection have CR UI object selection script. This script has a target index value. Be sure your UI button has corresponding index value, otherwise it will spawn wrong object. You can simply duplicate one of the buttons and enter your object's index value. You're not restricted to use this UI template. Just having the script on your button is enough. Thanks for watching.